Hi guys, Halloween is coming. I rather fancy making one of those thrashers that you see nowadays. Uh, a thrasher is one of those things that looks like somebody or something sealed inside a bag that thrashes about when you get near it. Now, I haven't quite got there yet in my design, but I've got a simple idea. I bought one of these from Poundland. A hanging ghoul, which is just a plastic head and a cloth body. One of my good old favourites, vibrating toothbrush, which has a little electric motor in there with an offset weight on it, which makes it vibrate. And I've got some old headphones here that I'm going to pinch the wire from, because I want a nice thin piece of black wire with at least two conductors in it so that I can actually suspend him with the black wire, connect up the electric motor inside and have the power outside somewhere that we can switch on and off and that will make him vibrate. So that's today's project. Very simple. First thing I'll do is salvage the cable or wire off these headphones. It's actually slightly shorter than I wanted but it'll do for demonstration purposes. So I'll just unsolder it. So we've got two conductors which is all I need. The rest of that can go back in the scrap box. Okay, here's our vibrating toothbrush. Oh, no, I've never had one that's screwed on before. They usually just pull off. inside, well that's the battery compartment, but if you reach inside you should be able to get hold of the battery box and just pull it out. That one's been a bit harder than normal. That's better. Right, so that's our offset weight that makes it vibrate when it spins. If we just put this together temporarily, might be able to demonstrate. There we go. So, plan is unhook all that, solder the wires up onto there. a tiny little hole in his head to poke the wires through and mount that in there somewhere. Just a little bit of hot glue to hold it in place and that should make it vibrate. We need a hole in the top of his hat. I've just melted it through with the soldering iron. Then I've poked the wire through, tied a knot in it again so it doesn't pull back through. and I'll solder the wires onto here. They're a little bit short. Should work. We'll hot glue it inside here. 
Okay, hot glue gun's warmed up a bit. A nice dollop of hot glue in there. Fit it up inside somewhere. Make sure the wire's alright. Leave that to cool down a second. And while that's happening, I'll just solder some wires. I've got a little battery box here with a switch on the side of it. So I'll just wire them straight on. Okay, I've got him suspended so we can see him move. He's not quite moving as much as I was hoping. On the other hand, that's still quite effective. Okay, so that works. Because I've got the bits, I think I might just rig it up to this infrared remote control, just for fun. We're out in the conservatory for no particular reason other than it's clear at the moment. We're going to knock it down soon, so it's an empty space. So we can demonstrate. So my little chap's suspended here. Got the battery pack. Got the infrared remote control. And so, here we go. Actually, I quite like the noise he makes. The only other improvement I could do would be to put some LEDs in his eyes so they light up when we press the button as well. Ah, I think that works. Job done.